A test case is a specific set of instructions and conditions that outline a test to be carried out successfully. It includes testing procedures, necessary inputs, execution conditions, and expected results to achieve a testing objective. In case, you can define various parameters and expected outcomes for a particular testing scenario by creating test cases. You can quickly create a test case by clicking Create Case in a suite, providing a title, and adding other details later if needed. Press Enter to save the case. The second method lets you fully detail your new test case. Click Case above the suite structure in the repository to begin. You'll be guided in setting up your new test case and providing all the necessary information. When creating or editing a test case, there are several sections of the screen containing different data points. In the Basic Fields section, you can define the title, description, and system fields like priority and severity. In the Condition section, you can outline what needs to happen before conducting the test case in the Precondition field. The actions to be taken after the test case is completed are post conditions. The Tags section provides a quick way to label your test cases on the fly without creating the values beforehand. In the Custom Fields section, you can find the custom fields that have already been set up with their different data types to store extra information about your test cases. This section will be shown if custom fields already exist. In the Attachments section, you can add extra context to your test case by uploading images, screenshots, video snippets, or other documents. Note that there is a 128 megabyte maximum size for a single file attachment. In the Parameters section, Depending on the parameter values you specify, you can configure your test case to be parametrized and execute it through several iterations throughout a test run. You have the flexibility to add multiple parameters, each with multiple values. Once you include a parametrized case in a test run, multiple instances of the test case will be added to the run, each representing a specific parameter value. The Test Case Steps section outlines the actions to be taken and the expected results for each step when executing a test case. For instance, when testing a software module offering GPS connectivity, you can specify the actions to perform and the anticipated outcomes. There are two types of steps to pick from, Gherkin. This step type has five available keywords, given, when, then, and but. And then, classic. This step type has three fields available, Step action. This is a specific operation or task carried out within the test case step, such as interacting with an application interface or system, data. In this field, you can input parameters or information utilized during the execution of a test, such as login and password combo, which influences the behavior of the system under test. Note that this field can be disabled from the project settings under the test case by toggling off dataset Expected result. The anticipated outcome or behavior that is considered correct for the given test case step can be included here. Test cases can consist of several steps that need to be performed. To add a new step, click Add Step. When configuring a case step, you can customize it using the buttons beside the Expected Result field. You can add a nested step. In the three dots menu, select Add Child Step. This is a list of sub-steps to be executed within a main step. This relationship forms a parent-child structure, where a step contains smaller steps within it. To save time on repetitive tasks for steps common to multiple test cases in a project, consider creating shared steps. Once you have at least one shared step in the Shared Steps view of your project, you'll find an Add Shared Step button when creating or editing a case. If you click Configure Fields, you will be taken to the field section of your workspace where you can manage, customize, disable, or enable system and custom fields. Once you have filled in all the information about your test case, you can send to review. In this case, a new test case review request will be created and a person responsible for reviews will then decide on a submitted test case. Save your test case, save and create another. Cancel to exit test case creation and discard the changes. 
After saving the test case, it will be visible in your repository structure alongside test suites and other test cases. The test case will receive an automatically assigned code, combining the project code with a number. For example, MAU9, where MAU is the project code, and 9 indicates the ninth test case created in this project. Note that test case IDs are automatically assigned according to the order of creation in the repository. When you click a test case in the repository view, a sidebar with a summary will appear on the right side of the screen. You have the options at the top to edit, clone, or delete the test case. The test case sidebar has several tabs to navigate through. The general, properties, runs, history, and defects tabs provide more information about the test case, while the comments tab can be used to drop comments about the test case. If you have deleted a test case, it will reside in the trash bin located in the three dots menu. From the trash bin, you can restore a previously deleted test case. When in the repository view, you can apply filters to find test cases with specific properties. To look up a test case by name, you can use the search box. Start typing the name of a test case, and you will be shown matching test cases. Once you have multiple test cases, you can perform bulk actions. Check the boxes of several test cases too. Edit multiple cases properties. Click Edit to see the available properties. You can also clone the cases and the suites or choose between only the cases or only the suites. Perform an express test run of selected test cases. Delete test cases in bulk. When attempting to delete multiple cases, you will have to type confirm into the field to prevent accidental deletion. Note that this behavior has to first be enabled from the project settings under the repository tab by toggling on delete confirmation. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles and our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message.